So let's talk about it a little bit. We're going to dig into your history with him because he was on the shelf, Kurt, when you first came into the company. But when he returned on the screen, that's when he unveiled himself as the American badass, which I love that character. Were you? Were, I was going to say, were you sad to see the change of gimmick or did you like the American badass? Uh, I love The Undertaker. It's my favorite gimmick of all time. But The American Badass was almost as good. It really was. Uh, and you know what? For Taker, that helped his career because The Undertaker was getting a little stagnant at that particular time. A little stale. Kept changing gears and becoming The American Badass. That way, eventually, years down the road, when he came back to The Undertaker, it became new and relevant. Fresh. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, it was fresh. So I think that really helped him. And it was a great idea that he did that. And you know what? And and he and he has said this: the American badass was more who he was, right? So it anytime was, it was, yeah. anytime you can be a little bit more who you are, it's just going to be natural, comfortable, and it's going to come out through the screen that way to us as fans. Yeah, and it was easier for him. Yes. Yeah. The presentation, the music, the motorcycle—it was badass, dude. I loved it. Yeah, he, uh, only he could drive a motorcycle into the arena. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Well, listen, your first big match with the Taker, which you just talked a little bit about, saying that's when he started to, where you felt like you finally earned his respect. Uh, is it fully loaded? It's 2000. So if you guys want to go back and check out that match, the rivalry would start when you would uh, help Edge and Christian retain their tag team titles over Undertaker and Kane. And eventually it leads to you two agreeing to your match here at Fully Loaded uh, before you would drive away on a scooter. <laughs> Were, that was a scooter i offered the undertaker yes <laughs> were you feeling nervous being programmed with taker at all um no i was more excited i i couldn't wait it, it was almost like when i wrestled stone cold steve austin i could not wait to get my hands on undertaker because um he was the one of the biggest stars in the history of the business he's been there for the, the longest out of anybody that i know i think he got there in the early 90s and was uh dominating for years so i was more excited than i was nervous 